Okay, I'm done. Everything looks good on my end. All the numbers tally. Can you come over and take a look at this? Look at what? Yes. Maybe there were more lucky winners than usual last night. But the payouts are seven to 8,000 more for a jackpot machine. That's a lot more than usual. We better inform the surveillance team to see if the CCTV caught any suspicious activity on the floor last night. Hello? Hey, so, can I me check a machine number? Which machine? Number seven, last night. I think you're right. Something fishy is going on. I'm going to call the police. Is that a phone camera sticking out of his front pocket? Yeah. See, the camera lens is always directed towards the machine. Looks like he's filming the jackpot machine. Stop. What is he doing? I'm not sure. Do you manage to find anything else suspicious? After we found this, we started reviewing all the CCTV footage for the past two weeks. We noticed that this guy has been in our casino almost every day. Were you able to identify his identity? Yes. Tarashkin and Thorn. Okay, what's the update? The records from the casino shows that our suspect, Anton Tarashkin, went to the casino nine times in the past two weeks. During that time, he managed to cash out approximately $115,000. Were you able to round him off questioning? Unfortunately, ICA just confirmed that he's a Russian national and he has since left Singapore. Cheng Hui, alert ICA. If the suspect returns to Singapore, we want to know about it. Also, alert both casinos to keep a lookout for any other similar suspicious activity. Will do. Anything else? We suspect that Anton kept the camera phone in his front pocket with the lens facing the machine because he was trying to use it to record the winning sequences of the jackpot machine. And the device in his pocket, he was probably using it to calculate mass payouts. Contact Technology Crime Forensic Branch. See if they can tell us whether is it possible to do something like that. If so, how? Okay. Chen Hui, contact our counterparts in Las Vegas and Macau. Ask them if any of their casinos have also been hit by similar MOs. Roger. Well, it does look like he could be recording the jackpot sequences. The black device he keeps taking out of his pocket is probably a mobile phone. My guess is that it's paired with the camera phone in his front pocket. See? You know how his hand never leaves the pocket? He's probably using the second mobile phone to control the camera phone. How's the recording going to help him win the jackpot? He probably uploaded the recordings onto a server. From there, the computer program analyzes the play pattern of the jackpot machine. Figure out the pattern and boom, you win big. Hmm. Getting someone to write a program like that and getting people to collect data, it requires time and money. Sounds like we're working with more than just a lone wolf. Yes, with technology these days, it's quite likely that these devices can be accessed remotely. Any evidence could be erased by someone on a computer on the other side of the world. So, take this. It's a Faraday bag. It's made to preserve digital evidence. It blocks off phone signals, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth frequencies and satellite. Hmm. Thanks. If we find anything, this will come in handy. The casino and the representative from the jackpot manufacturer physically went down to check on the affected jackpot machines. They found out that all the machines are in good working order. So we can rule out 40 machines as the cause of unusual payout. Yuan Feng, what did Tech Crime say? Logan from Tech Crime feels that it's highly likely that only a syndicate is capable of sending operators to do this worldwide. Our counterpart in the States has just arrested a group of Russians who use the same MO as our suspect. They found out that the Russians used their mobile phones to record about two dozen spins on the game they aim to cheat. Then they will upload the footage to a server overseas, which then analyzed the video and then calculated the machine's pattern based on the jackpot model's pseudo-random number generator. Finally, the server will then transmit a list of timing markers to a custom app on the operator's mobile phones. These markers will cause the mobile phones to vibrate about 0.25 seconds before the operator should press on the spin button for a payout. Wow, that's quite a setup. At least now we know what to look out for. Hello? Yes. Alright. We're on our way. That was the casino. We've got a hit. Let's move out. The 
dekat scene. Suspect spotted at Jackpot Machine 7. Black jacket, blue shirt, brown pants, brown hair. Okay, Roger. So excited at number 7. Suspect on the move. Chen Hui, get the car ready. Roger. Suspect's name is Gugnik Radoslav. Casino records show that during this time, he was playing at machine number 7 from 7pm to 2am. He also won a total of $20,000, an unusually high amount for someone just playing jackpot. Do we currently have eyes on him? Yes, we currently have a surveillance team on him and they reported that since we last saw him, Radoslav only left the hotel once to go to a supper at the hawker centre across the street. He's now back in his room and hasn't left. Also, the manager at S Hotel said he checked in alone two nights ago. Based on the MO of the syndicate operatives caught in the US, we have reasons to believe that our suspect is part of a three-member cell. Okay, continue to keep an eye on him. Let's give him another day to strike again. If you bring friends, then we hit the jackpot.
moving. Meet me out front. Who's our suspect at the tea stand? The one in the black jacket. Butterstaff gave him a signal inside the casino. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Michelle T from CID. We're looking for information on one of your guests. He just returned a few minutes ago. That's Mr. Vladislav. He checked in a couple of nights ago with another guest, Agurov Andre. What's Mr. Vladislav's full name and what are their room numbers? Local chef Vladislav. They are in room 10 and 15 respectively. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending the briefing for Operation Lucky Dragon. Scoop Nick Radoslav, Vladislav Lokochev, Agarov Andre are suspected of cheating at play by the illegal use of equipment. At this point in time, all three of them are under surveillance. We track Radoslav to S Hotel. He's staying there alone. Lokochev and Agarov are staying at J Boutique Hotel. But from our preliminary investigation, we suspect that all three of them are working together. Radoslav is observed to be operating solely at this casino. The other two played mainly at this other casino. Operation Lucky Dragon will execute a simultaneous raid on these two locations. There will be three teams led by SIO Yuanfeng, SIO Chenhui and myself. Each team will be joined by a tech crime officer who will be bringing a Faraday back. In the event of an arrest, all electronic devices must be kept in the Faraday bag to prevent these devices from being remotely accessed to erase evidence. Everyone, Please be on standby. As soon as the suspects are at the casino, Operation Lucky Dragon goes live. Good evening, Varus Law. I'm Senior Investigations Officer Yuan Fong from CID. You're under arrest for cheating at play. Please stand up. Remove your mobile devices and place them in this bag. Is that all? Hey, Ralph Andre. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Michelle Tay from CID. You're under what? arrest for cheating at play. What? You stand up. But th that's ridiculous. Please surrender all your mobile devices in the bag. Call this out of your chef. I'm Senior Investigation Officer Chun Hui from the CID. You are under arrest for cheating at play. You're required to come with us for the investigation. Please surrender your mobile devices. Sir? What's the passcode? What is the passcode? 4152. Seize everything. Search this area.
Mr. Logoshev, we recovered quite a lot of money from your hotel room. I'm a gambler. I travel. I go to casino. I win money. It's natural. All their money just by playing jackpot machines? I'm a lucky guy. Technology these days is amazing, isn't it? Just a camera phone and a program to analyze all the recorded data and you are an instant millionaire. Mr. Radoslav, this is a huge operation. So the question is, was it your idea? Niet, niet. It was not me. It was Logachev. Why do you do it, Mr. Egorov? They, they said it would be easy money. I come to Singapore and play jackpot machine. I get 10% of the winnings. What about your leader, Mr. Logachev? What does he get? He takes 5% from me and 5% from Radoslav. What happened to the rest of the money? We bring back home to Russia. Back to our bosses. Your friends already told us that this entire operation was your idea. It will be in your best interest to cooperate and tell us everything. The data on your mobile devices and laptop we found in your hotel room has enough evidence for us to convict you. Okay. I tell you everything. Before we come to Singapore, Anton was here to do the first part of the operation. He has two mobile phones connected by Bluetooth. And we have a special app to record the pattern of the game on the jackpot machine. The mobile phone in his pants pocket controls camera phone. After that, Anton flies home and gives me the recording. I upload data to computer. The computer will analyze the recording. How long does it take to analyze the data? Depends. Between one to six days. After the data is analyzed, team leader sends data to our mobile phones. Then, we fly here. Later, uh, we visit casino and play on the same jackpot machine. How do you know when the jackpot machine will play the winning sequence? The app on mobile phone will calculate when there will be a win. When mobile phone vibrates, it means a big win is coming. And we just have to hit play on the jackpot machine. Well, Mr. Logoshev, I guess your lucky streak has come to an end. All the accused persons were charged with cheating at play by the illegal use of equipment. Vladislav Logoshev was sentenced to three years and nine months imprisonment. Igorov Andre was sentenced to two years and six months imprisonment. Skubnik Radoslav was sentenced to one year and ten months imprisonment. In the case you have just seen, all the three men were part of a worldwide syndicate. This is also the first case in Singapore where smartphone technology had been used to obtain an illegal technological advantage. Thanks to the vigilance and quick response of the casino surveillance team and its operational staff, these culprits were caught red-handed. Through intensive investigation efforts supported by technological forensic capabilities, officers from the Casino Crime Investigation Branch and the Technology Crime Forensic Branch managed to recover more than $120,000 obtained through these crimes. Anyone with information on illegal or suspicious activities may call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000. You can also submit the information online via eyewitness at www.police.gov.sg forward slash eyewitness or through our Police at SG application. This is the last episode for 2017. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSG Jonathan Nao Yong. Until the next season of Crime Watch, do your part to keep our community safe and secure. <laughs>